Yes. Sure. Uh, I'm John Campbell. I'm marketing manager at Cerulean. Um, I've worked for Cerulean for approaching 15 years. Um, worked in a couple of areas within the business. But Cerulean is primarily a supplier of uh, test equipment within the tobacco industry. Um, we've got 75 years experience making test equipment and smoking and vaping machines. Um, well, five years ago, we actually launched uh, this machine here, which is called the SETI-8. Um, we were aware that the vaping industry was um, starting to really pick up. And obviously, because of the experience that we have within the smoking industry, we decided to really apply that to um, vaping. So we, we took a, a bit of a guess, if we're honest. And we looked at a current smoking machine, and we removed everything that we found wasn't important for vaping. Um, and then we developed this. So, I mean, this, this test equipment allows you to test vaping products uh, consistently and repeatedly. Um, and we just felt that with Serene's expertise, we'd be able to help steer the regulation within the industry to um, give consumers, you know, repeatable and reliable products, um, helping with, with our expertise, effectively. Not so much, no. I mean, I think um, the vaping industry have, have got challenges um, because of TBD2 where um, there's so much restriction on how much the vaping industry can talk about the reduced risk and everything else, um, advertising restrictions and things like that. It's, it's, I think it's, it's a challenge within themselves to be able to focus or concentrate one voice and speak about the benefits of vaping, certainly over smoking. Um, and I think with legislation and I mean hopefully TBD3 will start within the next couple of years and then we can really isolate the vaping aspect from conventional products and then um, we can actually have more exposure within the industry and actually talk about the benefits of switching from conventional tobacco products to vaping. Um, well, I think the, the work that Philip Morris do uh, on ICOS, uh, on the tobacco heating products, is, is very brave and you know, I'm, I'm really impressed with the work that they've done and the scientific studies. Um, and again, going back to the advertising restrictions that we have and, and basically um, classifying all these nicotine delivery systems as the same as conventional tobacco products, um, I think you know, Philip Morris really do have their work cut out to try and uh, promote it as a, a reduced risk alternative to tobacco products. So, you know, the um, tobacco eating products are really getting more popular in the UK. We see a lot of it overseas. We see Icos is launched in Japan and certain cities within Italy. And we are seeing a, quite a large explosion in, in the UK with the uptake of tobacco eating products. So it'll be interesting to see how much more traction that gets. Um, and obviously with TV3 in several years we're going to talk in part. You know, I'm hoping that the changes to the legislation will allow companies to actually promote these alternatives to um, prevent you know, uh, tobacco related diseases in the future.